Hello everyone. In this <coughs> Hello everyone. In a previous video, I went over how to uh, blink an LED uh, with the Freedom K64F, and uh, in this video, we're actually going to measure uh, how fast that circuit is uh, switching. And, uh, and just to review the circuit itself. Um, here we have uh, have the, have the a picture of the the freedom board uh, with the circuit, and here we have uh, pin four of J1 uh, connected to the anode of the LED, uh, as well as the probe of my oscilloscope, and then we have a current limiting resistor. Uh, the the uh, re reference for the oscilloscope is on the low side of that, and then ground is uh, tied to uh, pin 3 of J2, which is uh, ground according to our schematic here. Uh, now, in the in the previous video where we we're blinking this LED, we weren't actually blinking it because um, we were toggling that pin as fast as the Freedom Board can possibly do it, uh, given the, the real simple to use uh, processor expert uh, code. And uh, so the LED just uh, appeared to stay lit, and the only real reason we had it in here is it gives us a visual uh, reference to say that, okay, the program's running, or it's not running. Um, so in, uh, in this video, though, we're just going to measure how fast uh, this uh, this is toggling, and that'll just give us an idea that if we if we go ahead and, and use the the Kinetic Design Studio and Processor Expert to use the high level code that's generated there, it'll give us an idea of how fast we can possibly uh, cycle through a loop, and uh, that'll give us an idea of how many things we can accomplish uh, with this hardware. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over to the oscilloscope, and we'll take that measurement. Okay, here you can see that we have a nice clean square wave signal. It's real stable. Uh, we see that we have a frequency of uh, th about 390 kilohertz, a uh, period of just over uh, two and a half microseconds, and uh, a max voltage of 3.36 volts. That's about what we might expect. Uh, this is a 3.3 volt uh, board. and. Uh, so that's what the oscilloscope just tells us right off the bat. You notice it's real stable. That tells us that the, the board's doing a, a real good job at maintaining a consistent timing. Uh, we don't have a, a lot of drift or anything. Uh, if we didn't have good consistent timing, you'd see something, uh, something kind of like that, where the, the signal's jumping around. It wouldn't be able to maintain uh, a, a constant position on the scope. It would kind of either be drifting or, or moving around like that. But it looks like we have a nice clean square wave signal and it's consistent. Uh, we can also use the cursor here just to double check uh, the measurement. Uh, so I'm see I'm on cursor one here, and uh, so set it so you can see there's a little horizontal bar uh, that that indicates where the cursor is at and set it right there uh, hit cursor 2 and I already have it set up but uh, there you go uh, and you can see again confirm just over two and a half microseconds uh, for a period and uh, just under uh, 400 or uh, kilohertz for the frequency um, so there you go and you can see both cursors are just you know, 3.2 volts or so uh, so that's that's about it. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over how to uh, change our code to uh, change this uh, this period here between uh, toggles. And uh, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, and we'll talk again real soon.